Hello, everyone. So I hope you are enjoying a virtual AGU meeting this year. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my poster briefly. And I would have be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, you can uh, send your questions through email to me. In this study, we investigated the earthquake ground motions along the Cascades of production margin. We used virtual earthquakes from ambient noise cross correlations. The distribution of contemporary earthquakes recorded by modern seismometers indicates a relatively low seismicity in the Cascadia region. However, paleo seismological studies suggest a history of large earthquakes every few hundred years, with the latest magnitude 9 earthquake occurred in about three year, uh, 300 years ago. This region, along the accretionary wedge, there is thick, thick sediments. Those sediments typically have relatively low seismic velocities. Understanding how these low velocities would in fact impact the earthquake shaking is important. A better understanding of the ground motion during large earthquakes has significant impact on modeling the earthquake hazards along the Cascadia margin. However, the relatively low seismicity along uh, the margin also means that using real earthquakes in the ground motion modeling is difficult. In this study, we extracted the surface wave propagation information, including the travel time and the amplitude information from ambient noise cross correlations to characterize ground motions along the Cascadia margin. The deployment of the amphibious seismic array covering the Cascadia margin provides unique dataset for our study. For seismic waveforms from ocean bottom seismometers, we removed the contaminations from tilt and compliance noises before cross correlations. The cross correlation results were greatly improved after denoising. After extracting the short time window cross correlations, we explored the multiple stacking techniques to optimize the final stacking results. We adopted the robust stacking method, which provides the best stacking results that are least vulnerable to outliers of bad traces. The preliminary cross correlation results reveal an extremely low velocity accretion wedge. This reflects the thick sediments along the accretion wedge. The results also demonstrated the amplification of ground motions at the Seattle Basin, the Portland Basin, and the accretion wedge. The localized amplitude of ground motions suggests the uneven distribution of earthquake shaking hazards in Cascadia, which seems to correlate with the thickness of sediments. An ongoing effort of this study is to calibrate the surface wave amplitudes from ambient noise cross correlations with the amplitudes from nearby real earthquakes. Okay, thanks for uh, your interest in watching this video. And I hope you continue enjoying the virtual EGU meeting this year. Thank you.